This time, no rules, no punishments, and no more secrets. And that's the highly anticipated Fifty Shades Darker, the sequel to Fifty Shades of Grey. And Robin Lee is here with us to talk about the movie, along with some other projects she has in the works. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for thank, joining thank us. Thank you for having me. So let's first talk about Fifty Shades Darker. Fifty Shades Darker. It's um, it's quite a phenomenon. Like yeah. these books have been like they're huge worldwide. I mean, mm -hmm. their fandom is like everywhere from Brazil to Japan to Europe, and um, it's been incredible the reception mm -hmm. and this film is kind of I, I like it <laughs> <laughs> you've seen it but it's it's sexy as uh -huh. they are but there's something a little bit lighter about this one there's a there's a levity um there's a levity between christian and anastasia in this film that wasn't there the first time around because they're they're mm -hmm. kind of go along better and i feel like it's 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 sexy, but it's fun. It's got a sense of humor. It's mm -hmm. got a little danger. Mm -hmm. And you play Roz Bailey. Tell us about your role in the movie. I play a uh, Christian COO. Okay. And uh, she's one of the few women in Christian's life who can kind of go head to head with him. Who oh. doesn't you know doesn't take any crap from Christian. Mm -hmm. And it was really nice to play this powerful businesswoman and mm -hmm. like and and being a new addition to a cast that was already established yeah. and, and also like already adored by the fans you, mm -hmm. know, you kind of never know what's going to happen and how you're going to be received mm -hmm. it was incredible like yeah. it was incredible from the beginning to the end like the fandom was completely accepting mm -hmm. but the walking onto the set and yeah. the cast and crew like just kind of embrace you and you become yeah. part of this family immediately yeah. and they were really wonderful yeah but it has to be a little intimidating because Fifty Shades, it's you know, huge. was so big, right. and then here you come, you know, right. it's and like, you walk into the this? room, and you're like, oh, and you have such a I powerful do? role, and you have a powerful role, and you just kind of have to own it and just be in there and do what you've got to do. Mm -hmm. And you've been in a lot of other movies. Tell us about some of the other things um, that people have oh goodness. seen. I did Hitch with Will Smith. I mm -hmm. did uh, Seven Pounds with Will Smith. I did Thirteen on Going on, Going on Thirty with Jennifer Garner. I did Hotel for Dog with Don Cheadle. Like I've had some great films and yeah. worked with some really awesome people. Yeah, which is amazing. And you're kind of venturing out a little bit now. I am. I, I'm novel. writing. I have a novel coming out this spring called The Idea of You. Mm -hmm. And it's a story of a woman, a 39-year-old woman living in Los Angeles who owns an art gallery and she's divorced, but, you know, mm -hmm. in a good relationship with her ex-husband. And she's got a 12-year-old daughter. And uh, the daughter is obsessed with this British boy band. And the mom takes the daughter to meet the band at a concert and meet and greet and one of the guys in the band falls for the mother and oh. he's 20. Oh wow. So they embark on this relationship and the story is as much about a love story complicated by celebrity and kind of the underbelly of fame and what really happens there and an exploration, exploration of what it is to be a woman getting older and mm -hmm. facing middle age and dealing with motherhood and putting someone else's happiness before your own. And I kind of feel like so many women we're told by society that we shut ourselves off at mm -hmm. a certain age, and mm -hmm. once we're mothers, we're no longer these sexually viable women or women who are like multi-layered and have different desires and needs and mm -hmm. wants. And I kind of wanted to explore that and mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. what it was. But what was it that inspired you to write a novel? I mean, was um, it acting? You know, was it no, what? I've always written for me. Like I like to tell stories, mm -hmm. and I've, I've written for myself to tell stories. And I feel like acting is is, an, is a, a a variation on that, and then mm -hmm. bringing other people's stories to light and affecting people and I, this is just another way and I feel like it, I have way more control doing this than mm -hmm. I do doing someone else's films or TV uh -huh. shows um, and it, it was a joy and it was really lovely to kind of do it on my own when I wanted to mm -hmm. I have something to show for myself at the end of the day I'm not waiting for permission it's not as a collaborative effort it's just mm -hmm. me alone with my laptop and I loved it. Might we see it on a big screen? I or hope so. A screen? I mean, is that <laughs> perhaps so. the hope that it could you turn know, it, into? You it, know, it, it's written. It it's written for the film. I mean, for 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 film. Like, I feel like it could play really well mm -hmm. in, in the theater. Sounds like it. Yeah, it's it's big international. There's the art world and the music world and concerts and it's mm -hmm. good. Wow, it sounds good. We'll have to look for that one. The idea of you. We want to thank you so much for joining us thank this you. morning. Thank you very much. And 